Hey guys, I'm currently out here in the Theresienwiese, which is like the heart of Munich. And as you can see, there are a lot of people outside doing outdoor sports like kickboxing, Muay Thai and MMA. I was over here doing some rope skipping and there's one thing I still don't understand after like more than one, of year, one year of Corona. You see, this is where my bike is. Like this is the position where I was rope skipping and this is the position where I had the camera, okay? Now look at how broad the quotation mark road is and still like one third of all the people that pass through here managed to go through this passage. They were like one meter away from me. Like why? Even without Corona, why would you want to be close to a stranger? Anyways, let's go home. Okay, first off, sorry for disappearing again for three months. I've been doing absolutely nothing in that time. Funny enough, my last video was titled that I have Corona and people that don't know me in real life might think I'm dead. Unfortunately, I'm not. And second, today is April the 2nd, 2021, which means I've been doing my job for two years and one day now, which is nice. Okay, not that nice, but looking bad, it was a pretty good run. And I thought about it that I was wasting a lot of time doing stuff that nobody needed. So I thought I'm going to make a video about it. So here are five tips on how you can save time when you're starting in BI. Tip number five, question everything, absolutely everything. At the beginning, they're going to give you a lot of processes where they tell you to do step A, step B and step C, which is fine. But don't just do it mindlessly. Try to understand what you're doing. For example, you have to download data every Monday, every Monday on 10 a.m. from a data source, do some calculations with whatever tool you have available and put all of the results into an email and send them to a sales manager or C-level member or your boss or whoever. Nowadays, most of these steps can be automated with a BI tool. You can do the data retrieving, you can do the calculations, and you can do the scheduling. And if your company absolutely hates BI tools, then probably you are in the wrong company. And if you still want to stay in a company, try thinking about Python or any other method, which is free that you can use to automate all of the steps I just mentioned. This will make you a lot faster. And keep in mind, I'm not a Jeff Bezos fan. I'm not trying to tell you that you have to be productive every single second of your day. This is just about saving you time and stress so that you can use the time for relaxing or whatever you want to do. Tip number four, don't buy a book. To be honest, I did have a book and I used it, but that's because the people before me and my boss, they were all doing a kind of training with SAP Business Objects where you got this book for free. But the main problem with books is if you want to learn a tool or something like that, it's not bad to learn the basics, but most of the tools nowadays are evolving so fast that the book is outdated in a few months because most BI tools have patches every quarter, some only every second quarter, but that's still pretty fast. And then a lot of the functionalities you're using, you're seeing in the book and the best practices are not up to date anymore and you're basically learning the wrong stuff. So instead of relying on an old medium, which is the book, just learn by doing. Tip number three, you have to prioritize. That's pretty general advice. You always have to prioritize, but it's especially true when it comes to BI. There will be times where there are multiple requests flying in and everything is the most important one, according to what's stated in the email. Now, I know that everybody is doing the priority order in their own way and every company probably has their own priority structure, but I personally do it like this. First priority is my boss, second one is CEO, third one is boss boss, and the fourth is just a gray matter. Now, why is it in that order? Obviously, my boss is the most important person in that context because he's the one who's going to create a reference letter in any case if something happens. And he knows best what my strengths are and what do I have to do because he also is responsible for me. And afterwards, I just sort by power basically, which is CEO and then my boss boss downwards. And in that pool of gray matter, how I do it is basically the first request that most people are sending is always the most important one. But what happens afterwards is the important thing because some people are going to create pressure every day 
and some people just forget after their very important first request. And so the priority increases in that gray matter pool if you're consistently putting pressure on me, which is not nice, but that's how I do it. Tip number two, take notes, especially in meetings and trainings. Now this is pretty straightforward. Just write the stuff down so you can look it up later. In BI, in my personal opinion, it's pretty easy to understand stuff after you have the basics down. And that is problematic because it's giving you a kind of false sense of security. But just because you understand something does not mean that you are going to remember it in a few months of not using it or maybe next year. And you're going to waste your own time because you have to look it up again and understand it. And in the worst case, if you cannot do that, you have to waste the time of your colleague too. Who's going to tell you that you have to write down some stuff? Last but not least, tip number one, in my opinion, probably the most important one. Always request a complete draft of spec and document the whole process. Now, I know a lot of the business users don't have a complete picture in mind, but please ask them to think about it, what they want from you, and if that makes any sense. One of the biggest projects I had to work on in the last two years was a Tableau report, which ended up being 160 sheets big, large. And in the end, I matched it into multiple dashboards. And it kind of went like this. I had a business user sign to me, and in the beginning, she basically gave me a first draft of spec and some excels in which I could see the calculations that I am supposed to be taking over in the Tableau. And that's what I did. I finished the first draft, I gave it to her, and then she basically said, you know what, I actually don't like the formatting or the title that I, that I requested, and also the Excel I gave you was outdated, sorry, my bad. And then I created a second draft. I gave it to her, she gave it to her manager, and then her manager said, you know what, I don't like what you did. I don't like the color, I like, like the formatting, and also the Excel you did, it's probably not right, please check it again. At this point, it was already complete chaos because I didn't document anything, she didn't document anything. And so I basically just did things that they requested in the beginning and also was too lazy to look up emails that were in the past. It ended up being like fifth, five or six drafts in the end and took me over one year, which I could have done in five months at max if they just gave me a complete spec and I requested it and document all the things. Because at some point, it went like this. I did the change A that they requested. They don't like it. I do the change B that they requested afterwards. They don't like it. They want to go back to change A. But at this point, because I didn't document it and a lot of time passed, because, you know, they went on vacation, the manager went on vacation, I went on vacation, holidays happened, priorities changed. They basically requested the things they requested for me in the beginning after some changes and they abused me as a staging system, but I, have, I had no proof written down anywhere and it would be too much effort to basically look, all of, look through all of my emails to check where it was, because you can imagine how much of a mess it is with 160 sheets and every time in the new spec they have like 20 to 30 requests for all of these little calculations and all the access they provided. It's complete chaos, yeah? So just save it. Do yourself a favor and request a complete spec, document the whole process. And if they want a change they had requested already, then tell them you already requested it, you didn't like it. So basically you have to decide now. Okay, so these were five BI beginner tips from my side. If you have any questions, feedback, let me know in the comments. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.